on the training agenda for today. It's the deadlift. We are gonna work that entire posterior chain. Deadlifts are helpful in keeping your posture in check, keeping your core nice and tight. We are gonna work through the conventional deadlift today. Many other variations and forms of it, but let's just stick to the conventional methods today, okay? So let's get yourself into position. Feet are gonna be just about shoulder width apart. You're gonna push your weight back into your heels. You don't wanna roll up on the toes just yet, so weight's gonna be in the heels. Abs are nice and tight. Deep breath in, core sucked in tight. Slight bend in the knees. And you are gonna think of your hands and arms as just hooks holding the weight. Cause I'll see this a lot of times. Nope, you gotta let that rear end and that posterior chain work that weight, okay? Chest up, shoulders back, big inhale, slight descent slowly, right about mid calf, slight bend in the knees, and then you're gonna come up and push through the heels and squeeze. I kinda like to kinda roll forward and give myself a little bit of a reprieve, kinda takes the pressure off your lower back for a, a bit. Inhale on the way down, abs are nice and tight, and exhale on the way squeeze. Inhale on the way down, and exhale and squeeze. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a little bit of a variation to that. I will go to the side. I have little five pound plates here. Putting those together, and we're gonna grab the weights again. Now, if you're gonna start with this exercise and variation first, I start with my toes elevated. All right, with your toes elevated, take a deep breath in, mid calf right here, sitting back into that, and pulling up. You're gonna get more of the belly of your hamstring in that position. So I like to do these in conjunction with elevating my heels, but you're gonna get more of the belly of that hamstring right in the center. Now, a lot of you women out there wanna work and target this little area, this pocket here. Okay, that glute hand tie in area. That's what we're gonna do right now. So elevate the heels, deep breath in, descend in slowly here. You feel a deeper stretch here, and then coming up. Hand squeeze, inhale, abs are tight, exhale, and squeeze. I'm trying to suck it in tight for you guys on camera. Woo, but it's not working out so well. <laughs> and there you go, okay? So in this position, you are gonna get more of the glute hand tie-in right here, this little pocket that likes to lay underneath that glute. Okay, and your rear end. And here. Now, if you're gonna do this variation, start with your toes elevated first so that you get blood flow to the belly of that hamstring and you're not overstretching here, okay? And if I'm doing those together, what I would do is I would do 10 in this position here and then 10 with my heels elevated. So just to recap a little bit, we are working that posterior chain with the deadlifts, responsible for keeping your posture in check and your core nice and tight. There you have it.